Good morning, friends. We're at Gunsight Wash, just north of the Oregon Pipe National Monument, and just south of Huai, Arizona. And why are we here? Well, it's a place that we've been before and liked very much. The trees are a little bigger than up there by Quartzite. This time, this time of year, the creosote is blooming. It's yellow. Let's just go for a walk this morning. I have some things to tell you to catch you up on the life of Lynn and Jerry. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Lots of space out here, and it goes that way a couple of miles. I stopped right here because I wasn't aware that there were mules or burrows around here. But, unless somebody rode their horse through here, those are hoofed tracks. And I saw tracks in the wash back there that looked like uh, javelina. We saw some javelina on the road between Patagonia and Nogales. got to be something dumped there. Either that or there's an oil well trying to get out. In these washes like this, oh, this whole thing is like that tar stuff. I wonder. Hmm. In these washes you find lots of tracks of different animals. Like walking here in the morning. This is just a tiny little wash. Not a main thoroughfare for any bunch of animals. That could be a dog, but the length of the nails would indicate coyote. I heard the coyotes yipping and yapping. Uh, the other morning. And then of course here, this is a pack rat. After 10 days up there by Sonoida where our son was looking at some property, we went to Patagonia and we're fortunate enough to get a COVID test scheduled in Nogales. So we went to Nogales, got our first Moderna shot, and we're scheduled for a second Moderna shot um, on the 24th of April. We were planning to go home the first week of March, so it's going to be a couple of months more here in the U.S. than we had planned on, but... That's okay. We don't usually get to see the um, desert coming alive because we go home just before that happens. So I'm enjoying this with the flowers starting to come out and I don't see any right now but the prickly pear cactus starting to bloom. Loctio blooming. Ocotio. <laughs> That's for my son Peter who keeps correcting me. Another one of our 
problems that we have now solved is that we can't fly home, couldn't fly home in March because our passports expired. Our passports expired on January 6th and uh, I mailed in the application on that day and at the time I mailed it in the website said they're not accepting accepting um, expedited service because of COVID so I didn't pay for expedited service and after a few weeks thinking it was going to come in four to six weeks I figured out that uh, I wasn't going to get it in four to six weeks. It was going to be 10 to 12 weeks because, again, I didn't pay for expedited service and they're slowed down because of COVID. I understand, but COVID is being used as an excuse for a lot of things. And I, I guess excuse is not the right word. I, it's causing a lot of delays a lot of places. Anyway, our passports didn't come until um, last week. And last week was the last week of March. <laughs> so um, our passports have arrived. We don't have them in our physical possession yet, but they have come to a, a friend's in Yuma where we were using their mailing address for that service. So, we have a plane reservation to fly home, and uh, we'll be home towards the end of April. Home is, for those of you who might not know, Ajijic, Mexico, south of Guadalajara. And if you are new to my channel, go back and look at some of my videos before last October and you'll see what it's like to retire and live in Ajijic, Mexico. And I'm looking forward to making more videos when I get back. Have some friends coming over today from uh, Tucson and we're going to take some of the long jeep ride circles out into um, Oregon Pipe National Monument. We'll probably, probably maybe, which is kind of how nomad life goes, probably maybe go down into the park. Um, it's $20 a night for very nice uh, spots. No hookups, but um, it's $20 a night. Uh, I think it's like half price. Well, I know it's half price if you have the America the Beautiful card or a Golden Access card. Lynn's had a Golden Access card for many, many years. Wow. There's a green, green, green Palo Verde. The green stick. And that is an impressive saguaro right next to it. And in the side of the saguaro, there's a hole. Birds do that, like, to make a place for their nests. We're almost on uh, up to snake time when the snakes start coming out. They do have rattlesnakes around here, other snakes. Haven't seen any yet. Um, of course, it's something to be aware of. I'm not particularly afraid of them. Um, I know how to listen for them, how to keep my distance.
there's a place about two miles uh, in back of me as I'm walking back towards my RV where a lady lived for a while and did a lot of um, how do I put it desert improvements <laughs> she uh, well, I'll take you out there and you can see what she did. It's um, interesting. But we have to go in the Jeep. Uh, it's too far to walk and I'm only going to be here a day or so, so I'm not unloading my tricycle. The story of this place is that a lady by herself came out here and lived and she built a fireplace I guess. Here's a, a memorial. There's lots of stuff on there. Be grateful. Crazy Woman Camp. That's the name of this place. Crazy Woman Camp. Desert Rose. I was here yesterday and I signed my name in the guest book there. There's a walkway. A hoodoo. A heart. A labyrinth. A horse's skull. A pathway. A circle with rocks. A rectangle with rocks. What is that? Are those? They are. Look at that. Those are, uh, Millipedes. Huh. I gotta take a picture of that for my son. Jawbone. Another heart. Huh. You know, you could make a rocket stove out of one of those. It's a red sewer pipe tea. A rocket stove. Wow, that would be cool. A man's best pal. Hmm. Rest in peace, puppy. And here we step onto a pathway. It's not just a pile of rocks, it's very intricate design. 
Maybe it's a representation of the sky with stars at night. Following the pathway to the White Rock Road. Hmm. And another pathway. Oh, there's a shrine to Jim. And a glass, too. And another pathway. Who knows what's in the mind of a crazy woman? Crazy woman camp. Thanks for walking with me this morning. Glad we had this little time for a talk. Let's see what Lynn's doing. Good morning, Miss Lynn. What's doing today? Coloring. You gonna color? Ah. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.